to the bill. It is hard to speak about this, and it's particularly hard to speak against the motion, which against the bill, which I'm going to do. I believe murder of a pregnant woman is terrible. I think murder of a nuphorectomized woman is terrible. I think murder of a short woman and murder of a tall woman and murder of a left-handed woman and murder of a right-handed woman is terrible. But I also think that we're here as a deliberative body. And we're here to make social policy in a deliberative and in, a, in an appropriate way. And I believe this bill is a response to mass hysteria. And as a sociologist, I understand mass hysteria. Now, if there's any person in the room that believes, had this bill been in force six months ago, that horrible act by a clearly crazy woman would not have happened, then I think it's perfectly sensible to vote, yes, to vote yes for this. If we think this will prevent a single murder because we have an additional sentence other than murder or aggravated murder depending on the circumstance, then I think we, I'd join you in a second and vote for this bill. But I've been here for four sessions and there has not been a single bill that I remember that reduced a penalty. And none that, by increasing a penalty, prevented a single crime. I think if we believe it's important to satisfy our, our sense of retribution, our requirement to punish above and beyond what is necessary in order to condemn a crime, then this bill will make sense. But otherwise, what is the purpose of this? To make us feel better that we've done something to expiate that terrible crime that happened just outside of my district? I don't, I don't feel that way. In fact, I feel that crime was committed by a woman who was clearly crazy, who will be, my guess is, found guilty but insane, and this bill won't change a thing. Step back, take a deep breath, recognize that murder is a horrible thing, and that we punish murder in a legitimate way, and think twice before you push the green button. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.